So we just crossed the Hunter River and we've got a natural boundary between our mares and foals and, and our young stock, the weaned stock. So the horses we've got on this side are, they get weaned, they come across here to stay for about a year and then they'll head into our breaking in program which is based up in Calvin side and then enter racing. It's a bit like going away to high school, they sort of they leave mum and dad behind, they're going to move on with life and start sort of hanging out with their friends a bit more and we start to get a better idea as to what sort of athletic future they have. We start feeding them accordingly. We're trying to breed athletes and it's important that we individualise that because not all horses are the same and that starts at this young age as well. The idea at the moment is, is the feed is, is quite dry. Uh, and not too lush because the yearlings as they're growing don't need that sort of really rich feed um, and it keeps their body weight in check so they're not too, putting too much weight on too quickly on those sort of pretty sort of um, you know their bone system is still growing and they're growing strengthening up so we need to make sure we don't over, over tax that too quickly so these guys are just chilling out here at the moment and they'll wander around all day just grazing as horses do and they'll move up the top They'll come down and get fed in these pens. They get fed twice a day, so smaller feeds, but twice a day. Um, and that's very important to get that balance right. So it's all about giving them a balanced diet at this point in time in their life. It's a long, slow process. I mean, it's, we're not trying to do it overnight. We're trying to do it slowly to build up on a steady sort of plane. 